Hello everybody, it must be Wednesday. Here I am making a video. Um, I am giving a class on Saturday all about the Lambeth method of piping. If you don't know what it is, Google it, it's awesome. It's very old school piping, lots of very like over-decorated stuff um, with lots of great techniques to learn. Um, if you haven't, if you want to book for it, there is actually still space, so if anyone does, just let me know. Um, I am was looking through all my nozzles to see what I need for the class and I realized that I have so many so I decided to make myself a little um, a chart which I'm going to make for you guys. I've started it here. Let me just get it so you can see. There we go. So I'm going to use all my different stars that I have and I'm going to pipe a variety of different things with them just so that I can see what they look like. It's for my own um, use. I'm going to take a photo of it when I finish so that I can keep it there because when sometimes when you go hello somebody gave us a thumbs up hello oh, Sharon hello <laughs> um, so let's see what we have um, I've written the numbers down the side here 13 14 26 etc and then at the bottom is a different brand PME brand which I find actually in some ways better um, they certainly have some nozzles that I just adore um, I haven't been able to find equivalents of these in the sort of cheaper varieties. These are usually a Tico's or um, sometimes Wilton's. It depends on the brand that you've bought. Um, but these seem to be fairly standard numbers. Um, and just, you can see I started already. So the 13, the 26, 30, I just did a few to start to give myself a little, I mean, because you don't really want to watch me pipe for hours. But just to show you, there are a few different types of nozzles. There's this one. This is a PME44. This is what they call a French tip, so it's got lots of teeth and it's open, um, as opposed to this, which is a closed star. This one is a number 232. Um, this one's slightly unusual because it's got little wider little bits at the bottom of each hole, making quite a cute little flower. I'll type it for you now. So you get, and then you get just a plain open star with no, not a fringe tip, not with lots of teeth like that one. You can see the difference there. Okay, so that one that I've just shown you is the PME number eight. But I'm gonna do them all. So the number 13 and the number 14 are very similar. So I already did number 13, I'm gonna do number 14. Um, I'm just gonna start off by piping a few little stars just so we can see what it looks like in its native form. Then you can do a few little rosettes just to see what they look like. Then I've done snail trail, or well, actually, sorry, um, it's called shell border with stars. So here it goes. And then I've done what they call twisted rope. So I just need to get a good angle on here. I'm trying to do it so that it's upside down for you guys. Oopsie. So that's the twisted rope. And you can see that the number 13 and 14 are in many ways very similar. 13 just has slightly more teeth in it. The number 26 I already did was a closed star. I'm going to show it to you, but it's got already got icing in it, just so you can see. There it, oopsie. Hello. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know how long I lost you there for, but we're back. <laughs> Sorry, so that was a number 26. Um, that was this one here. So that's a closed star. You can see it's really got the icing in it. Um, it again, if they're all quite similar, that's why I thought I would do this. The next one is the number 32. So number 32 is a nice one. It's got lots of teeth. It's the French tip. I'll put it on my bag. So those that don't know, I'm using a coupler here which is a little adapter thing, so you can change the nozzles out on the bag. And I'm just using a disposable bag. Okay, let's do some stars. I'm just going to leave myself a bit of space because I've got to do a few different things with this. How sweet are those little stars? Adorable. You can do a rosette, also very cute. A shell border. And then the twisted rope fat for this page but there you get the idea um, I also thought I would 
I'm supposed to do it at the bottom of the page. I'm running out of space here. Uh, if you have a look at the bottom here, I'm just going to show you the alternating shell, which looks something like that, which also looks it's quite cute with this, um, this nozzle. Okay, so that's the number 32. The next one I'm going to do is the 232. I actually don't know why this got such a high number. So just to show you again, it looks like that. It's got little holes in it. We've got four people watching us. I am so excited. Anyway, uh, I keep asking everyone if, if it's cringeworthy to watch me on the videos. Um, so far, everyone's like, no. <laughs> so maybe I need to work on my accent. Okay, there's the rosette, shell border. Nice little twisted rope. Should do a little quick little. So you can see with all of these, it's basically the same techniques. They just look slightly different. So those are all the Atikos that I have, the gem nozzles. So I'm moving on to the PME nozzles. This number eight is one of my favorites. I love it. Let me show you. So little stars. The stars are neither here nor there, and the rosettes are neither here nor there. But you can see it's just got a nice, um, nice look to it. Just a drag. And again, so if I do drag it into this vision here, if I do it here, you can see how pretty these are. Can you see those? They all look very similar. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, next up we have a number 43. This is also a PME nozzle. It is an open star. You can see it. Can you see it? Sorry, this is the train again. I need to get a proper studio. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. So it's an open star, lots of teeth, French tip. Um, and these ones, you can see it also quite sweet. I'm going to do too many. And just to give you a little kind of heads up on what we'll be doing in this class. So if you look back to some of these things that I've piped here. So the Lambert method relies on a lot of kind of over piping. So you would come along, I should start at the top, and pipe over these things and then continue to adorn it in that way. So you get these quite complex um, borders and things, which is really beautiful. Right, the last one I'm doing is our number 44, which is also a PME. It's almost identical to the number 43, but I am doing all my nozzles so that I can take a photograph. So I'm just going to carry on with that. And then it's going to have to be a little bit higher because I've already, can you see that? I filled up my space. But there it is. You can see how adorable are those. I think the lesson for the day is that I'm a fan of the French tip. Here we go. So there's my little, can you see it? Is it in the picture? Of all the different nozzles that I have, here they are there. Um, and I'm going to take a photo of it now and I will post it in the comments. Um, just show you my face again, my beautiful face. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was useful. Um, if you have anything that you're interested in learning, please leave it in the comments. I am always trying to think of new and fun, quick things to show you. Um, and I rather enjoy making these, actually. It's become somewhat of a thing. Anyway, uh, have a wonderful Wednesday. Please stay warm. It is pouring with rain here in Cape Town, so we are thrilled to have the rain, but we are going to be staying warm inside with our piping nozzles. And I'll see you next week. Bye. How do I stop this thing?